power cord that you can see here. I'm going to hide this later. But now the garage door is controllable via these buttons or the Blink app. Okay, let's see if it works. We're going to open both garage doors and shut them both. Well, this system uses three-factor authentication, and I'll show you how it works now. As you can see, the door is firmly closed and locked, and we can't access it uh, without the three factors for authentication, the first of which is a standard key fob, which you might already have one similar to this for your workplace. Present that here. It recognizes that as me, and I'll enter in my unique pin. One, two, three, four, five, six. It then generates a unique one-time passcode and sends it to my phone. Here it is. Enter that, two, four, seven, three, six, three. And as you can hear, the door's unlocked. We can open it and access is granted. We all love the Raspberry Pi. Who couldn't? It's an affordable, diverse device with the potential for so many exciting projects. The thing is, we just wish it was that little bit easier to get into making things without the steep learning curve. Maybe then, these things wouldn't get chucked to the back of a drawer and forgotten about. That's why we made Tingbot, a small, compact kit for the Pi that makes it that bit funner. So, what can you do with Tingbot? Well, you could create a surf cam feed so you never miss out on the big waves. A games console for all your nostalgia needs. A GIF messenger to share little moments with your friends. A MIDI effects controller for your guitar. A one-hit pizza button. A new best friend. A live stream of your pig. What we're trying to say is, pretty much anything you can think of.